This week, I had one of those moments, I guess some would call it a teaching moment. I would call it a, uh, I guess a moment of inattention would be lack of a better word. I was talking to old uh, Brian Nine Fingers Nolan on the uh, phone from Bone Dust Primitive. You guys check him out. And put, putting away some fishing gear, stowing the gear away for the day, and just not paying attention to what I was doing and ran a hook through my hand. Now in the past, couple months there's no telling how many large flopping fish I've handled in uh, the boats and been very careful with a hook and just one moment of inattention and, and there I was uh, hooked up literally so I took that opportunity to kind of show a few different methods I tried uh, using a hundred pound halibut leader push it down to get it to release I tried it a couple different times in the past with the uh, hooks stuck in me and other people and that uh, has never worked. I would really like to see somebody that could show me how to do that technique. Uh, so I did what everybody does. I did the push through and cut it off method. And that is where I think, uh, one of the many reasons actually, I think that having a Leatherman or Gerber or whatever multi-tool of choice, you know, you cannot go anywhere, I don't feel like, and not have one of those in your kit and benefit from it. Uh, especially if, you know, if you're a fisherman for hook removal, I uh, almost feel like they're a must. So uh, let's watch me suffer and get the hook out of my hand. And if you like this video, please, as always, hit that like and subscribe button. And we appreciate everything you do. And yes, folks, we will be back with a lot of 18th century stuff and flint lock hunting stuff coming this fall when we get back down south. And we are also trying to get together a little stuff sick of deer stick bow hunt up here so there are some hunting videos coming your way in the future thanks again everybody i've handled at least i would say 300 flop flopping fish in the past two weeks you know what hasn't happened that <laughs> so we're gonna do a little <laughs> bushcraft 101 first aid because nobody's coming to get this hook out but me uh I've tried pulling it out with a 100-pound leader where you press down and try to release the barb. That's not happening. Uh, so you know what's left? Push her through and cut her out. Fun fact, human skin's really tough. Uh, I'm going to try one more time to push down. Well, no, not going to happen. So all right. So fortunately, you see a little white spot. Uh, it's my level of dedication to you guys. I'm gonna push it all the way through and cut the barb out because that's just what you have to do. Uh, I'm about 90 miles and two hours from any kind of medical help, not that that would matter. So, there we go. Ah, oh, this hook's got a couple fish, so it's not that sharp. Man. All right, it's getting there. I got the run of it out. <laughs> Just get a grin and burn it and suck it up, buttercup. A little bit more that it popped through anyway but if you're in this situation that's why a leatherman uh, is invaluable uh, it's the second time I've had to do this first time I've had to do it to myself but the second time I've had to do it overall uh, actually a uh, nipple pierced a buddy kayak fishing a couple years ago and he was gonna wear it for a while but you a fish hook for some reason just hurts like hell so uh, if you look, got this lovely salmon cooking on a rock. Now I gotta get the hook out of my hand. So, and this was as easily, I mean, I just picked up the rod and uh, sunk it in my hand. So, here we go. A little bit more pressure through my hand. All right. Let's run her on up. So that's a sweet spot. Now we have to do 
close your eyes while you're cutting this because who knows where in the hell it's going to go. Make sure you don't pinch your hand in it because that's about as bad. Ah, really hard hook. Boom, there it is. We're free. And that, kids, is uh, Bushcraft uh, First Aid 101. Are you gonna wash it now? <laughs> yeah, I'll wash it in something. <laughs> Salt water, you got the whole ocean. Uh, puncture wound, leave it open and uh, disinfect it to the best of your abilities in whatever situation you happen to be in. But the number one thing is, don't stick a hook through your hand.